Welcome to Cooking with Clint. Excuse me? Cut. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Primal TV. I'm Amy and this is my helper today, Clint. He wanted to make it all about him, but it's really all about the food and Clint's going to be helping me make strawberry mousse, which is yeah. fantastic. And if Clint can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, you know that's true. Ready to get stuck into it? Let's go. Let's do it. So this is one of my favorite sweet dishes to make because it's full of nourishing ingredients only a very few ingredients, it's simple to do, doesn't take much time, and it's incredibly versatile with what flavors you can, can use. We're using strawberries and coconut milk as our two main ingredients, and the star of the show is gelatin. Now most of you who are familiar with using gelatin are probably thinking, how is gelatin going to make mousse? When normally when you go paleo or dairy free and a bit healthier, it's avocado that makes chocolate mousse and it doesn't go bubbly it doesn't go airy but i discovered how to get gelatin with these other ingredients in a way that actually becomes bubbly and airy and light and really beautiful so we're going to show you how to do that today so you need about a small a yum coconut milk tin of coconut milk and what we've done is frozen it into ice cubes in a tray because we need uh, small ice cube size pieces for for the mixing part of this so that's ready to go it's about a cup's worth of coconut milk then we have about a small punnet of fresh strawberries we've already cut some up and Clint's going to finish cutting the strawberries up uh, while I show you how to do the gelatin so we also then need a half a cup of just room temperature water on the saucepan there just a small saucepan is fine. We need a hot element for this recipe and we need an ice element for this recipe. You'll see later on that when the two come together at a high speed with a blender here, it's going to create the airiness and the fluffiness and then it's going to be sort of set like that. It's really, really exciting. So water goes in the saucepan. We're using good quality grass-fed beef gelatin powder that gels. We're using about two tablespoons and don't turn the stove on yet, just simply sprinkle the gelatin over the surface of the water so it's even. That's one tablespoon done. And then the next tablespoon, just gently sprinkle it just so it's not a big clump of gelatin in there. So if you just chuck all that in at one go, it's going to become a big hard clump that you can't save and use at all. You're going to waste a lot of the gelatin. Now we're using a fair bit of water compared to gelatin. So that's already starting to soften and absorb into the gelatin. And now we can turn the heat on. Where did you get this cutting board? It's quite amazing. I love the, the wood texture from it. Uh, it's a local brand, Nature's Cutting Boards. Uh, Jane at your Monday markets on the Sunshine Coast makes beautiful camphor laurel uh, stained cutting boards and platters and I absolutely love our so I'm not surprised you love it. It's beautiful, mm, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love all the camphor. It's lovely. <laughs> looking for with the gelatin water is for it to be boiling we need this liquid to get really really hot so when it goes in with the coconut milk in the blender and they it's turned on and they're mixing together that it's creating uh, a setting effect while the aeration is happening and the, the blending is happening so let that get really really hot and start boiling make sure you're mixing it with a whisk so it doesn't sit on the bottom with all that high heat coming through and then burn on the bottom of the saucepan. You want to keep stirring it, but take a break, take a second and add your other ingredients to your blender. So Clint's going to pour the coconut milk ice cubes into the blender and the strawberry can go in. That's it. So at this point uh, with the blender, you would add your sweetener of choice. Clint and I are eating pretty low sugar at the moment, so we're not going to add raw honey, but normally I would add one or two tablespoons of raw honey. Instead, we're using not that much, 
uh, some green stevia powder. So the stevia that hasn't been whitened and processed into a fine white powder. We're just using the green uh, leaf dried out and ground up. So that's gone in there. The gelatin is boiling, so it's also ready to go in there before the coconut milk completely melts on this hot day. So pouring that in. Now pop the lid on, of course. And that's all blended together. It should be a little bit thicker than just if you had coconut milk and strawberries in there together. It should be like a thick custard. And then all you need to do is grab your serving dishes um, using a couple of trifle bowls. Pour that in and it is quite thick. Thick and creamy, fill those up. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Yep, about there. And the other one. Now these will go into the fridge just to finish setting. Done, beautiful. I'll pop those in. A couple of things to look out for when making this recipe is if it's really too runny in the blender and it doesn't feel like any thickness has come, it might mean that the ice cubes, uh, the coconut milk ice cubes, melted too much uh, by the time you got the gelatin in there. What you can do is grab a couple of water ice cubes from the freezer and pop those in the blender. That's going to mix with the gelatin and start setting that gelatin because hot gelatin needs cold air or cold moisture to start setting and gel. So add a little bit more of the cold element in there and it should start thickening up that liquid and then you can pour that into your serving dishes and you'll, you'll think, oh, that is actually a bit thicker now. They go in the fridge and it's gonna be still aerated. That comes out of the fridge, the air bubbles will have set. So the cold mixed with the hot gelatin is setting that gelatin sort of while there's some air getting pushed through there. The other issue you could face is if it is too thick in the blender, you can uh, add a little bit of hot water. Uh, so I just boil my jug before I start making this, just in case. If I get the ratios wrong one day, it's easily fixed. Just get a little bit of hot water in there, tiny bit at a time, maybe a tablespoon at a time. Give it a blend. It should loosen up the thick uh, mixture and make it just thick enough, but runny enough at the same time that you can pour that into your serving dishes. Because if it's too thick, it's just gonna come out in lumps and clumps and not even look pretty. Uh, and that just means it's set too fast. And that can happen on a cold day. And sometimes just different uh, brands of, of ingredients and different temperatures in the house and thicknesses, you might have poured too much gelatin into your saucepan or not enough. Just different, rate, different variables can affect how it's blending, but basically you're just looking for hot and cold going together to create a really thick sort of liquid and then pour that into your serving dishes. Go in the fridge and they will be done and nice and airy. So that's all it takes to make strawberry mousse. That's come out of the fridge. It's a little bit wobbly, so it's not a really firm, stiff jelly. It's jelly-like, but it's not really firm and hard. So it's perfect consistency for mousse. Light and fluffy. When you just touch the surface, you'll see air bubbles popping and you know, yep, that's got air in it. So that's awesome. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Mm. Really stro strong strawberry flavor comes through. Mm. A little bit of sweetness from the stevia. Creamy because of the coconut milk and gut healthy for all that gelatin that's in there. Your joints, your hair, your skin, your nails, your immune system, everything will love the fact that you're eating healthy gelatin. And it really is that easy to make. So I do make this quite often and I love it. Mm -mm. Do you know what's cool? What's that? It matches your apron. Your color coordinated to your food. I planned it perfectly. <laughs>